Middlesbrough 1 Sunderland 0, Marcus Tavernier strikes to win tees where Derby and plunge rock bottom comes into deeper trouble. Ellis Short thinks Sunderland should be challenging in the top flight as top 7. Right now, the Black Cats cannot even get into the second tier as top 23. Sunderland owner Short conducted a rare interview on Friday outlining his ambition for his managerless and crisis hit club. But the American came across deluded with his Premier League plans as this damaging derby defeat proved their next destination is more likely to be League One. In last season ST's wear clash at the Riverside, Sunderland conceded inside the first 10 minutes, went on to lose 1-0 and were rooted to the foot of the Premier League table. And some 193 days later, the visitors suffered exactly the same fate against Middlesbrough to stay rock bottom of the championship. Marcus Tavernier was Borough's hero this time, firing in after just six minutes for the 18-year-old's first ever league goal. It made it four wins in a row for Middlesbrough against their northeast rivals the first time they had done they have managed that since 2003. And Gary Monk's men moved up to fifth while Sunderland, who sacked Simon Grayson on Tuesday, are three points adrift of safety after just one win all season. Black Cats chief executive Martin Bain, who was watching on at the Riverside, must be wondering how he will be able to persuade any boss to take the Wearside reins. And this was a painful defeat for Sunderland's joint caretaker manager Robbie Stockdale, who was born on Teesside and began his career with Burrow. His Black Cats actually came close to taking the lead themselves inside three minutes. Didier Ndong's 25-yard shot was spilled by Darren Randolph, who was struggling with sun in his eyes. But the borough keeper reacted sharply to keep out Lewis Graban's rebound with his legs. And just three minutes later, the hosts went ahead through teen sensation Tavernier. Stuart Downing caught the Sunderland backline out with a superb reverse ball to Marcus Braithwaite. And the Dane crossed for Tavernier, who beat Billy Jones at the near post to fire home. Sunderland's former Borough midfielder Lee Cattermull tried to get the visitors back on track with a curling shot which the busy Randolph just about beat away. But the Black Cats' woes were just about summed up midway through the half when Jones hobbled off injured after being challenged by his own man Aaron Gibson. Robin Ruder kept the visitors in it after the break, keeping out a shot from Braithwaite, who looked set to score after Cyrus Christie's cross fell to him in space just 10 yards out. Then the Sunderland stopper kept out a Stuart Downing free kick, after last man Mark Wilson dragged down Britis on Belonga and was lucky to just be booked. Yet while Burrow were unable to put the game to bed, the Black Cats did not look like scoring. Not that the visiting fans were hardly surprised, singing we're us and we know we are as they saw their sides sink to yet another defeat.